The first ever modern brain scans of people under the influence of the psychedelic drug LSD has given researchers brand new insight into the neurological processes that occur in the brain that causes the effects of LSD. For example, oneness with the universe, visual hallucinations and loss of personal identity, which some people call the dissolution of the ego. Well, these brain scans have revealed that those people under the influence of LSD uh, have been able to draw information from many many different parts of their brain. Well, under the drug, regions of the brain that are typically segregated are seen to be not just connected to each other, but almost speaking to each other neurologically. That's how it's been described. Regions of the brain that we normally see apart from each other are connected and talking to each other. It's been called a more unified brain. And it also has helped to explain why people under the influence of LSD have been able to hallucinate and see things with their eyes shut. The parts of the brain that we normally attribute to visual images, uh, for example, the visual cortex, this is the part at the back of the head that normally processes visual information, in this case, under LSD, when we look at the brain scans that have been done, it's not that area that's being triggered when people are seeing things. They're effectively seeing with their eyes shut uh, using other areas of the brain that are not normally attributed to visual sightings. So this study was done on 20 volunteers. They came in on two separate days. On one day, they were injected with a dose of 75 MCG of LSD. And on the other day, they were given a placebo. They used various different types of brain scanning technology. For example, arterial spin labeling, resting state MRI, and magnetoencephalography. Well, the scientists, they measured blood flow, they measured connections between the brain networks, the brain waves, and they basically found that one of the key things, and this obviously can help to understand why people feel a lot freer when they're on something like LSD, is that the restricted thinking that we usually develop when we grow from infancy to adulthood appeared to be reversed when under the influence of LSD. So it basically made people feel more childlike, more free, and used much more of the brain and connected much more of the brain than we typically see on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really interesting, but what um, they might be onto something here. So I, as I understand it, Silicon Valley executives, especially youth, they know how to microdose, Joe, and um, they do this because it makes them feel smarter. We know that Steve Jobs notoriously spoke well of LSD and was a frequent user himself. So maybe they're onto something with this study. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Silicon Valley, it's been reported in the media recently that some of the youngsters there, the startup kids, the executives even, certainly Steve Jobs, he's been notorious uh, for having spoken out to the media, obviously in the past, of using LSD. And it was often thought that the, these people thought that they could use more of their brain, they could download information, become smarter in their everyday lives if they just took a little bit every day. Well, these these brand new breakthrough uh, brain scans, they're really showing what goes on in the brain and why these people feel that they're using up a larger proportion of their brain and being more efficient and, and smarter on an everyday basis. And it's because these regions, these networks uh, in the brain that don't normally work together, start working together in a more unified way. Well, David Nutt, who is the governor's former drugs advisor, professor uh, at the Imperial College in London, where this study was completed, he said that this is to neuro science, uh, what the Higgs boson was to particle physics. So a, a big statement there in terms of physics and in terms of what we can learn from this. We know that LSD is being tested for treatment in psychiatric disorders. So for treating people with depression, anxiety, PTSD, and we're seeing uh, new results, new studies being done like this. But this is the first time that we've seen brain scans, MRI scans, to really show us what goes on inside the brain when people are hallucinating when people are feeling one with the universe. And we can also use these results to, to certainly treat people with psychiatric disorders in the future, but also simply to, to demonstrate how and why people tend to feel better about themselves uh, when they're temporarily under the influence of something like this and potentially feeling more childlike uh, and reversing to feeling a little bit more free uh, under the influence of LSD.